Welcome back, um, episode 15 of Kyle's Talk Podcast, vlog, whatever it is. Um, been a while since we've done one of these, so a uh, few things to catch up on. A couple of X trials, um, big news, Toby Martin riding in the North American Championship. A um, couple of ladies, British rounds as well that have happened. Um, and also, obviously, this weekend coming is the first round of the British Championship. So... We will crack on with all that. Um, first X trial, I believe. Hope I get these in the right order. It was Shallons for Sone and Nice. I think Shallons for Sone was the first one. Um, again, pretty much sort of true to form. Um, nothing really, nothing really sort of jumped out there. Obviously, Toby had a great fourth place, um, which is pretty much I think he was he was a bit unlucky in the first round again. Had a silly five right at the very end of the first round. Yeah, he sort of threw it away to get get through to the final, really. Yeah, that that cost him a wee bit, but um, but yeah, I mean, he's definitely. I don't really want to say best of the rest, but yeah, he definitely is the best of the rest there. Oh, he's, yeah, he's knocking on the door now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, no. which is absolutely where he deserves to be. Um, again, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so pretty much the same format then in Nice um, the only thing probably to say about that one was Gabriel Marcelli absolutely was the luckiest person ever to make it into the final everybody else just kind of obviously didn't want to get into the final and again Toby bit of a mistake early on as far as I can remember it's quite a while ago now hmm. um, but again salvaged the fourth place so Pulled it back in the second round. I think he was, was he third best score in the second round, I think. So mm. he's definitely, as you say, Hugo, he's knocking on the door, isn't he, every weekend now. So hopefully a podium will be in the offing. Geneva yeah. is the the weekend of the start of Scotland. So that'll be a tight turnaround for him as well. Yeah, I was talk talking to, to Wiggy and they're flying, they've got to fly back basically like on the Sunday up to yeah. Edinburgh and drive up to Fort William. And then obviously Scotland time. finishes. Then it's Japan when the outdoors start, and it the weekend yeah. after. So. Yeah, it's a it's a busy week. Um, it's been a busy time actually with the Spanish Championship as well because I've been trying to get the hold of Gabriel Marcelli to try and get him on. Um, but they've been doing like a spin X trial, X trial Spanish Championship, mm. X trial Spanish Championship. So uh, still working on that one. Uh, there seems to have been loads more X trials this year to me than I remember. Yeah. I think yeah. the calendar in general this year is just nuts. Like everything just seems so crammed together for some reason. Yeah. But it's just the way everything's falling in it. But it's everything does seem to be very like close together this year. It seems to be all like squeezed in the summer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Man. Yeah, even the even the British championship is sort of they're dying around on that to try and sort of think to free up maybe a bit more space in the calendar I don't know but yeah. anyway we'll come on we'll come on to that um, so obviously then sort of in the last maybe what was it a week or ten days there was the news that Toby was riding for Honda in America mm. um, so that was a pretty good weekend for him with um, first place in both of the of the rounds a double header round for the first round of their championship so yeah. um, I think it was I think Read. I haven't seen any videos or anything from it yet, but I think on the first day that he, I think he tied with Pat. Yeah, they both both cleaned it on the and first. And then had to do a like a head section like a, or something. Yeah, tiebreaker section. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good. Yeah. Idea. I like that. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It gives something for the. I mean, the crowd were. I did actually see a video. This guy um, posted. Not it wasn't. It was. I think it was. Can't remember his name. Um, one of those. American guys. <laughs> oh, his name. I had his name in my head when I started talking about him, and then and it went out of my head. Apologies if I do remember. I will say, um, yeah, he showed he had a, he had a, like a quick sort of thing that he'd done on his phone. Um, mm. Yeah, the crowd were getting right into it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's all good. That's all good. It looked like, like it was, from the scores, it looked pretty quite a steady trial. To be fair. Yeah, I think I don't. I, don't I mean, know, I didn't never really pay much attention. I don't know what level they are really, but. I think Toby There's some good Pat riders in there, don't they? Like Pat's Pat's a really steady rider, isn't he? And he's Pat's, good, isn't he? And yeah. 
really. And the thing is, as well, I feel like with it being the first round, you might they might find now that like right, we can we can up it a bit for put a couple more hard sections in and and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Um, but from it's what I've seen on you... all of the Jitsi stories on Instagram and what have yeah. you, like it's all looked it's all looked really good actually. It looked like a really good event. Um, yeah, it did. So and it was like, nice you know, to see, like you say, plenty of spectators and what have you. So mm. Mm. it's hard to gauge how, like you see videos of it all like massive rocks, and it's hard to gauge how hard it is, isn't it? When you see like I think it's Josh, yeah, Roper, like on Instagram a fair bit, yeah. you see like these massive grippy rocks. Yeah, quite yeah, yeah, to yeah. Actually, see how it relates to like Toby's riding. Yeah, mm. it's interesting. Those guys. It was interesting last year. There was Josh and was it Daniel Blank Gonnet? were riding mm. in Scotland. I think that guy, Alexander, yeah. was riding as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it was interesting to see because they were, I don't want to say clueless, but they were, yeah, they were struggling on the first day. But by the end of the week, you know, they'd got themselves dialed in, you know, so you, you yeah. often, like, you know, they're, they're, they're good enough riders because they were able to, you know, they were able to sort of dial themselves yeah. into what they yeah. needed to do in Scotland over the course of a week. It takes me nearly a year from one up in Scotland to the next. Like, but uh, <laughs> uh, I should just not stop training. I should just keep training, and then it would be it would three, be six, easy, five days. It? Um, what else have we had? We've had the first couple of rounds of the Bell Trailers Ladies Championship round. Matt, your young lady there was going very well. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, to be honest, mate, the the level of um, the top few girls now is is quite impressive, really. Like the, mm. um, they've all they're all they're all so close to each other, and they're all good at their own little things. And it just seems to, I mean, like Lisey's obviously ridden really well um, in the first few rounds, managed to win a few, and it's been nice to obviously see her get some good results. Um, but they've been really good events. Um, like I'd say the first one was obviously run by Neen Valley and then North Barks. Um, good venues, two completely different trials. Um, obviously, mm. Seymour's Arena is rocky, man made. Um, yeah, two really good, two really good events. Um, the Saturday at Neen Valley was possibly a little bit low scoring, but had it arranged, God, it would have been totally, totally different. And to be honest, I couldn't believe how dry it was. Um, with the amount of rain we've had, mm. like round here, supposed um, to hear that from how wet it was when we were there last year. <laughs> oh, mental, honestly. Um, but yeah, so that was that was that, and then obviously we're at non-stop trials, um, in Wales last weekend. I've be never surprised. been there before. I'd be surprised if you tell me it was dry there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't no. dry. <laughs> I know that place. But, it was one of them. I'd seen videos and stuff of the place, never been. And I was really impressed by the place. Um, mm. They'd set out with some really good sections. Um, took marks off the girls without it being sort of like really, really hard. And as much as it was for the top three, you look at the scores and, I mean, yeah. you can just see how massively different the levels are within, the, within each class. There's massive jumps in scores. So um, yeah. I think it's really hard to get a trial like, well set out for for sort of like the massive range of levels that we've got but I think I think the team that he had there did a great job and put on another great event the day after changed a few sections and put a, made it a little bit harder and it, it was it was great obviously it got mm. ended up with a different result for us but it was it was no like I say the girls were all riding really well at the moment and yeah mm. yeah it's a decent venue that non-stop isn't it yeah, mate, I was, I'd love to go there in the dry. But, I mean, to be honest, yeah. with how it was really strange. It sort of, like, it was surprisingly grippy on the Saturday, even with it being fairly wet. Mm. Um, and on a couple of the sections where the sun came out, it was it was sound. Um, it soon, it did actually dry up. But, um, yeah, on the Sunday, God, in places, like, it was hard to walk. Like, it was... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, it was... Um, no, it was it was good, and like I say, it rained all night from Saturday through to Sunday, to the point that I was laying in bed in the camper, and I'm like, I think they might cancel this. Like these young kids aren't gonna wanna aren't gonna wanna ride in these conditions. But mm -hmm. no, fair play, the sun came out and it was great. Very good, and I think we get a bit of a shout out, Alice. I think didn't Alice win the second day there? And 
Yeah. Yeah. So Alice won. Alice won on the on the Sunday. Um, I think Lisi was second. I think Caitlin was third. Yeah. I think um, it's been the same. Isn't it's been the same podium, hasn't it? It's been the same three girls on the podium for the first like four rounds or whatever. But they're just yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But as you say, those three, obviously, they're doing the, yeah. they're doing the world championships and stuff as well, and they're all they're all at yeah. that sort of they're all at quite similar levels. So one's pushing the other and. And it kind of it builds, exactly it builds that. It's really exciting level. to be fair yeah. because they're because they're all so so sort of close. You don't really know what's happening. Like you get to the end of the trial, and unless they're using the digital scoring and they have got the TV up, it's like oh my god, like who's yeah. won? Like we've yeah. we've not known. Like the last few times I've been sat queuing up to wash a bike, and and then you find out, and it's like oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. You get your bonus. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah no, got a complimentary cup of tea off Stu. Oh, yeah. been... <laughs> I was gonna say is that an extra ten? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nail on the head. <laughs> even used use a fresh tea bag in that one, did he? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Even had a clean mug. <laughs> that's a big bonus. Um, <laughs> you noticed that so the three of them, Caitlin, Lisi, and Alice, have been doing like the S three rounds as well this year. Yeah. And I've yeah. like, they've been around us riding them. You do their levels definitely like getting better each year. I would say. Mm. From what yeah, before. they've all improved, all of them massively. Yeah, massively. And, and I mean, even like just the girls, like um, like not just in the UK. Like you look at what Naomi's doing now. You look at what Rubino's doing, what Emma's doing. The, there's and you've got Berta obviously as well. Like the mm. level of the girls has. In my opinion, improved like two times over in the last yeah. couple of years. I'd agree, yeah. Yeah, it seems to have taken. Yeah. Like a... And it's nice to see them getting a bit more recognition for it and stuff as well. It's nice to see like they're getting a lot more promotion and that. And it'd be nice to see obviously more girls ride the ride the ladies championship. I mean, I think there was no more than forty riders um, mm. at the at the second round in Wales. I'm not sure about the numbers at the first, but um it just might be nice it'd be nice to see more girls, you know what I mean? To see more girls like especially like just coming on, enjoying the sport and and wanting to progress. And it's nice that we've yeah. got three talented girls pushing and riding at a high level for them to look up to and hmm. and sort of aspire yeah. to become, I guess. I think I don't know. I'm probably going to get shot down for saying this, but do you not think the sport, the ladies' side of the sport, kind of developed the wrong way? It kind of there was there was like a world championship nearly before there was like national championships in most countries. Yeah, mm. and I think that kind of, I think that just means that it doesn't it doesn't develop properly. It doesn't develop sort of organically the way yeah. obviously mm. like over it's over probably... years over a number of years the the the. I'm going to say the man side of sport, but it's not really. I mean, there's been mm. girls riding the sport for for a long time, but I think that's I think where the grassroots the level world. probably needs yeah. more put into it or something, more maybe investment mm. or something to try and get to try mm. and get more young younger girls in. It seems it's almost like it's, it's like a chicken and egg thing, isn't it? If you've not got the numbers in the countries and local areas, then there's no point putting on an event. But then, if there's no yeah, event, yeah. they're not going to get any riders. So yeah, now that there's more doing it, it seems to be yeah. Oh, I riding. mean, it's all it's all good, you know. But I just think yeah. it probably it it sort of developed the wrong way around. Um, mm. um, but anyway, but I know from looking in the results of them, there's a lot more like within the lower, like the c and b class and d class even yes. in, the, in the girls there's the numbers in that are quite good aren't they obviously yeah. there's not many in the a at the moment but like yeah hopefully they'll continue and come yeah but hopefully there. as you say with more numbers coming in then mm. that talent hopefully will filter through yeah um but yeah as you say i've been watching a few of those s3 rounds um bvm do mm. <laughs> do vlogs from most of them which are quite good um and yeah the results of the those three girls brilliant um, mm. yeah very good it is good to see it is good um, I wonder are is Alicia doing the British Championship is she going to ride the expert class or is she just focusing on the ladies and the, the world championship 
Yeah, so I think I think the focus this year is obviously the Ladies British Championship. Um, she's doing the European Championship and also the World Championship. Um, so she's got a lot on the plate. But I think I think um, going forward, she wants to try and do a few of the a few of the men's trial GB. Um, whenever the dates sort of work and stuff. But I think for her this year, she she sort of wanted to concentrate on. Uh, obviously the ladies British Championship and they've got eleven rounds this year, which is yeah. a massive commitment. It is a big yeah, commitment. Right. So I'm jealous. Um <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean get to go to the Isle of Man and everything, mate. Yeah. Um but yeah, so no, it's um yeah, I think I think that is the plan. But I'm sure you'll you'll see her at a couple of them at least. Yeah, good. Right. Well that brings us all nicely to British Championship. Um, first round coming up this weekend. Last minute sort of venue change there because of mm. <laughs> surprise, surprise the weather. Um, looking good actually. The the team that have taken over that seem to be mm. on the ball and getting some some new sponsors involved and getting some promotion done and it all looks quite smart. I think you were at the was there a test event? Was there down at Hookwood a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, there was two. Yeah, like. Week and a half ago now, yeah. The test event down at Hookwoods just to sort of gauge the section severity they'd set out and test the scoring systems and that kind of thing. Yeah, which all yeah all went all went pretty good. Looks good. Looks I like very... the number, I like the wee jet number boards and stuff they're using now. It's yeah, they're well smart. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. And they they fit over the over the front light finally as well, so you've not got to faff about with different number boards. Oh, and... do they really? Yeah, for beta riders, that's a good thing. I was going to say, that's just, that's just you flipping antiquated beta riders. Hey, if it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, to be fair, it's, it's good to have a bit of fresh blood and like fresh enthusiasm yeah. into the series because Barry's trying pretty hard to sort of grow the profile of the event. So, mm-hmm. I play to him. yeah, no, he's, he's, he's been, he's been flat out there nearly every, Nearly every week, there's something, some mm. new partner or whatever released. So that's good. That's yeah. excellent. Um, it's really what it needed to, to carry on the sort of momentum that that Brian had, yeah, um, had going there because the series was in pretty good shape when he left. So yeah, I think it's in capable hands. I think it's fair to say. Seems uh, like it, yeah. And he's very focused on social media and like getting video content from from the events and stuff like that. So. Hopefully yeah. there'll be some good stuff come like that as well. Yeah, I was hoping I was hoping to get over this weekend, but I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. So, um, but I mean, I suppose, what do we reckon then for? Uh, let me just get rid of that wee message that popped up on the screen there. I don't know what that was. Um, for trial GB, then what's the what's the predictions? Who do you reckon? Is is Toby riding? British Championship this year or not? I believe so. Yeah, I I hadn't I don't know. I have no it was, idea. It was in the back of my mind because he was doing the American one. I wasn't sure, but I would. If imagine. he's there, you've got to back back Tobe, haven't you? Really? To win, yeah. I would say. Yeah. In my opinion. I, I, I the think the it'll be close, Champ- but yeah, the the British Championship's strange though because you get guys like Toby obviously riding at at. at world level and um, mm. trial trial gp x trial all that but when you come it, i don't know what it is about the british championship it just seems to be like a leveler of of talent um the yeah, lack of grip i think that is yeah maybe yeah maybe that maybe that's what it is yeah. i don't know um but yes i mean you would have to say all things being equal yeah toby's probably probably just yeah yeah he's just got that edge hasn't he um, then the but next jack is such that jack Peace is such mm. a determined, like he just, yeah, he, just, he doesn't let anything go, does he? He just fight. he always fights right to the very, very end. Yeah, he fights um, for every mark, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, we've got the two Hemingways now in in the GB class, which will be interesting yeah. to see. That'll be it. That'll be the first time I think that- they've ridden at the same level for a while, yeah, for a long time, probably. They might have done, yeah. They probably did ride maybe a couple of years, maybe in youth, where the the ages overlapped or something. But mm. um, I think that's gonna be a, that's going to be an interesting battle. You got them too. 
toe, Billy Jack dance, like Jack piece. Yeah. All sort of really within within touching distance of each other. Yeah. Billy obviously good. his sort of um his confidence is is obviously high after winning the the, the trial two world championship last year. And um, been doing some indoor stuff as well. So um it's I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a great I think it has yeah. all it has all the all the ingredients anyway to be a mm. a really good a really good series this year. Yeah it does. Albeit a small one. <laughs> <laughs> go on then get it off your chest you go, what is it? Come on. No, five nothing rounds. I just yeah. five rounds is it's got less and less every year and it now we've got five rounds. It just I know I can understand why to be fair, because it's a first year new promoter, so you don't want to maybe bite off more than you can chew too soon, Leah, but hopefully they'll increase it next year. Yeah. Yeah, well I think that as you say, I think that's probably first year it's a sensible yeah. it's a sensible way to go. It is it, it's it's, it's quality over right. quality over yeah. quantity, isn't it? So yeah. um and I think from what I've seen that there was a little YouTube video um I think it came out today there. Uh yeah. and that all looked yeah. really good. You were starring in that. Number twenty four. Yeah. Twenty four. Nice. Matt, you're very quiet. I'm just taking it all in, mate. I'm just oh, I don't really to be honest. I honestly really don't know a lot about anything that's going on at the British Championship this year. I've not I've not really seen any of the lads. I've just been I've just been flat out working and sort of like I've been busy with doing the stuff with Lisi and then so it's all gonna it's all gonna be sort of like I don't really have an opinion on any of it are you, at present. <laughs> are you not gonna say no of course Jack Dance is gonna win it? I'm gonna remain impartial. <laughs> um, right. no, I think Hugo I think Hugo hit the nail on the head. Um all of the lads are so like it's it's anyone's I, I and that's mm -hmm. genuinely how I feel about it. Um, like you say, you have got Jack Peace that's going to fight for every mark. Um, and I think don't really think anyone's seen a lot of Jack. Like he's been obviously in Spain pretty much all winter. Um, I think he's like training with Raga and stuff a lot now. Um, yeah, I know. Which that. so I'm be, I'm really interested to see how Jack Peace is going to go. To be honest, um, but. So, like the same both the Hemingway boys like they're both going to be pushing for it everyone right everyone's working hard everyone's everyone's trying trying yeah. everything they can so obviously I think I genuinely think like he turns up you'd like to think it's a fairly sort of like safe bet he's going to be comfortably on the top step I'd have thought but you just don't know do you no no, and that's that's what that's kind of what makes it exciting, isn't it? Um, yeah. So obviously, yes. For for those of you who've been living under a rock or whatever and don't know, um, Matt is going to be minding for Jack Dance in the British Championship. Just the British Championship, because you're too busy with every with everything else. Yeah. So just the British Championship at the moment. Yeah. So um, British Championship, and um, yeah, that's it. We'll see what happens. Um, obviously went riding with him down at Hookwoods on on Sunday, and yeah, riding really impressively. Um, doing doing some stuff that I'm looking at, and I'm like, oh my god! Like, <laughs> there's that one step at the top of what do they call it? Ruby's Rocks, I think. And yeah. Billy posted a video of it last week, and from the bottom line, not the jumping line, it is obscene. Yeah, from like, in the from in the water, you stand at the bottom of it, it is and from in the water at the bottom, yeah, mad. And then you stand at the top of it and the first time we went at it, I blinked. And honestly, I blinked and he was from the bottom and he was like in front of me and I'm like, oh my God, that was so fast. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um, Is that yeah, what no, I saw? I'm really excited for it. New challenge. First time I've been in, first time I've been in Gas Gas Kit as well. So we'll see. Is that the one... Is that the one that was a video and he kind of just, he dabbed with his bum on the tree and kind of held the bike on the clutch at the same time at the top of this hill? Yeah, so we, he was trying to get it, he was trying to get yeah. it to back wheel and he can get it to sump every time. Um, but yeah, and it went to back wheel and like you say, it was right on the like balancing point and he just nibbed the tree with his elbow. Um, but yeah, it was, that was the, the control he, he had then was just insane. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good. Another talented British so, writer. Brilliant. That's what we want. Yeah. Um, yeah, great to see. And, yeah. Trial. Well, I mean, last year he had a couple of he had a couple of victories in in trial two in the world championship mm. as well. So, you know, let's hope let's hope they can all keep that momentum going. Yeah. Um, right. We'll take a quick break there. British championship. That's trial GB. Pretty much covered there. I don't think there's really much more to say about that. Um, trial two. Hugo. That, that I mean, what you've got to be podiums regular. Oh, that's what we're going for. Yeah. That's who's who's your main competition this year? Is Jamie? I'm guessing Jamie Galloway still. He's still yeah, Jamie. Trial two is he? Yeah. He's done trial two. Yeah. From Ollie, James Fry. He's he was pretty consistent last year. So yeah, yeah, then, yeah. People like. Chili and Wiggy, depending on how many they do and sort of, yeah, if they come out firing or not, really. Yeah. But you're the main man there. <laughs> Don't know about me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there trying. No. Yeah, well, look, I'm you, confident. Were, you were, last year, I suppose, like, you, you, you steadily... The, the results steadily improved over the course of the year. You nearly made it onto the podium. I think, what, did you lose out in cleans or something? It was very close. Yeah, one, one and then, round. like, one mark. I was fourth twice, I think. It was, like, one mark once and a couple of, yeah, like, two or three the next. But Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you, Jamie, had to laugh. Um. He put a real up on Instagram and he, he had like stereophonics or whatever it was as the music and I'm yeah. like, Jamie Jamie's a bit young for stereophonics I just went yeah nice uh, nice nice choice nice choice of music or whatever it was and he, he says yeah I really rate them <laughs> <laughs> he's a flipping agent he's a character isn't he yeah <laughs> it'll be interesting it'll be interesting to see because um, I think he's been practicing he, he's been practicing quite quite a lot with Duncan and yeah with Duncan yeah. and Gary Duncan and Gary yeah, I think Jamie, Jamie almost tries to ride full time doesn't he although he's empl employed full time I think he rides a fair bit yeah yeah mm. yeah. I think I think he's he's in that fortunate position that he's got a, a boss that kind of lets him um, lets him away a wee bit mm. the other day and stuff like that which is great that's yeah. that's fantastic um, but mm. yeah he just he just makes me laugh every time he opens his mouth he comes out with something like oh yeah like, <laughs> he is. I keep saying he's just not got a filter sometimes. Though, <laughs> oh <laughs> no, there's no filter at all. It's uh, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna try to do like do a couple of Scottish Championship rounds with them. I think this year, so that'd be funny. Are you gonna do a couple? Yeah, I might do. If there's one at Bob Bob McGregor. Am I in? I might go up for that one just for yeah. a laugh. Yeah, they, that, they're pretty good standard of events, I think. Do. Yeah, they do. They look good. That Craig Lash yeah. in the first round looked really good. Yeah, um, and that's Bob McGregor is actually quite handy. That'd be quite handy for me. It's only like a couple of hours off the boat. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, you could do something like that. Have a trials talk team out in team out. Yeah, all right. Um, so you've got <laughs> you were uh, you were putting some uh, new equipment. Up on the socials there the other day, you get nice new yeah, been and stuff. Pretty lucky to have a Pico on board helping me out this year with boots and helmets and, and gloves and well parts and everything. So yeah, pretty pretty buzzing with that really. Yeah, good. I like really those new, really those impressed new, with the stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, those new helmets. I quite like them. Uh, that, um, is that forged the, carbon? That one you have forged carbon one. Yeah, it's one of the trickiest things I've seen. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, they do look good. They do look good. I was, I was, I was tempted, but <laughs> I don't get sponsored one. I can't afford it. So <laughs> no. I'm, just going, I'm just going for a plain, plain white. That's that's me. Um, right. So yes, you're right. gonna rock up. At, you're gonna rock up in Scotland with one of those four hundred quid Tony Bow replica things. Yeah, I can see it happen now. No, I can see you turning up, signing on with it in the little bag it comes with and everything. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I mean I like Tony and all, but uh, not that much. Uh, 
If it was a TRS one, he'd be there. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, straight, it'd be straight on it, mate. No, no, no. No, we're digressing here. We're changing the subject. Um, <laughs> like we, 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 need, we, need to, we need to finish off trial two. So we've got James Fry, um, Hugo, Jamie, Duncan, um, Wig, Alex. Ollie, um, Ollie Smith usually goes well as well. Ollie Smith, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the other day, he's looking good. Mm. And yeah, I think well, probably coming back as well, isn't he? But I don't know, I don't know what route he's riding. Right. Who was that? Who was that, Matt? Sorry. Is I think Tom Affleck's having a ride again this year. Is he? Is that a British? Oh, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I think. What route is he going to ride? Back to an expert, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What a. Was I, who did I just think of there? Might be in trial GP. Mm. Gonna come to me. Um, so then, one thing is, we've, another thing that's changed is there's no no minders for trial two this year. No minders. Yeah, uh, which is a bit of a contentious point at the moment. Oh really? Mm. That is. Yeah, they argue, They said the scores have been. The average score for the winner last year was like 60-odd, I think, for trial two, which probably is higher than you'd expect, maybe. But also, they've, they've taken away minders thinking to make the sections easier. So you don't... No one really wants it to become just like the expert class sort of sections. You want to do the type of sections you want to write. So I just don't see the logic in... No, I, taking them away. I, I don't, don't see, any, don't see any benefit of it personally, but yeah, that'll be interesting to see how that pans out as the series moves on. But yeah, yeah. that seems, especially after obviously the controversy and everything last year, with yeah. albeit slightly different level, but still the same level and skill are, supposedly, yeah, you know, the the equal there, but um. I mean, yeah, the sections we had last year, there was quite a few in every trial that you wanted to catch on, really. Yeah, well, I mean, I can think of a few that were. Yeah, there was some. There was some big stuff you were hitting last year. Yeah, I and remember. Not. not I remember you. one at Inch Perfect where you were hitting this thing and going up onto like a, a fallen tree. Like mm. that was a big old. I wouldn't have fancied yeah. that. Bit of mine. Well, I wouldn't have fancied that. Like most of the time, it goes all right. It's the time it doesn't. Some things like that are like a massive crash if you've not got a catcher there. So yeah. Yeah, well, see, I think quite a few people have sort of voiced their opinion trying to get it back to having minders, so we'll see yeah. what happens. Um, yeah, it seems a bit of a strange one, that, I suppose. Well, I mean, I was going to say Sam Connor obviously rides in trial too, but I'm just thinking mm. he never really had a minder last year. I don't remember seeing him with a minder. But... Yeah, he always, yeah, he always had someone with him, but yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know what the driver is really, to be honest. Yeah, it seems strange on that. Mm. Anyway, right. Yeah, see, my point was just we'll see how that changes stuff as well. Really, wasn't just trying to have a moan. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, I mean, if they do, <laughs> if they do what they say and make the sections, um, you know, not as big. Um, you can yeah. still take marks off people, I suppose, technically and stuff, but um, yeah, and, yeah. Well, we'll see, yeah, we'll <laughs> see how that plays out. Um. Expert class, then. I'm trying to think who's even in the expert class. Um, Brad. We've got Dan as well. Dan you? Thorpe. Uh, you, can't, you can't say expert class without saying Dan Thorpe. Really. It's just, I mean, yeah, it's just... <laughs> going back, trial GB, Jack Price. Is he riding this year, or is that just for Scotland, I wonder, with the Sherco team? I think it's just for Scotland as far yeah, as I'm aware. Yeah, it's just for Scotland and the Scott. The Scott Trump, yeah. Selected stuff, I think. That, that would have been interesting to see because he did come back. Was it mm, Brimham Rocks last year? He, ran, he rode trial two, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, such a shame. Talented rider and yeah, riding trials. He's getting his in, enjoyment back for it again, I think. So maybe whether he will come back or not, but... Yeah, he might do maybe he might do a couple maybe. 
Yeah, yeah, it'd be good to see him back. To be fair, it's good to yeah, see him back in Scotland too. Um, mm. Very, very close to winning that a couple of times. Mm. Um, yeah, so Dan Thorpe then nailed on for the expert class, is he? Oh, he can't do. He's got to be, hasn't he? It's the same, but it's the same in every bloody class, though, isn't it? There's, there's literally like six people that could win it. Yeah. It's, oh yeah, yeah. Just on, I whether consistency comes in it or not as much with the fewer rounds. But Thorpe is like Mister Consistent, isn't he? Really? Mm -hmm. It's probably. I mean, a lot of people probably don't realise Dan mm. Dan Thorpe scored World Championship points on on two separate occasions. Mm. Like, and that was in the trial GP class because yeah, there, yeah. there was only one class then. You know what I mean? That was in Hindu, yeah. Um, I so I, I, I probably a lot of people don't even realise that. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's he was a good. He, well, he still is a good rider. He's a hell of a rider. Um, Gary Mack, I think, probably yeah. far behind him. Hmm. Um, two did did Gary score world points? Can't remember, but. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have been far away if he didn't. Um, but yeah, there's there's some there's some real steady riders there that you just as as, yeah. as you say anybody on their day, uh, any one of sort of six people yeah. on their day could mm. could pull it out the bag. Um, know, yeah, for sure. Brad will be pretty fired up to try and take it to him. He was he come pretty close last yeah, year. Yeah, I it? think. Well, it's yeah. sort of, yeah. it, it came down to the last round, didn't it? Last year, so. Yeah. Um, well, he really wants it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. When you get you get a wee battle going like that, and when especially it's like the ladies thing, I suppose. When there's so many of them so close, mm. and, um, that's like you just you just don't know who's going to end up coming out on the right side. Mm. Um, and obviously Emma there, she's a couple of podiums last year, so she's going to want to try and maybe even get a victory or yeah. something this year. That's probably going to, that's probably going to be her sort of target, I would say. Um, but yeah. Matt's falling asleep up in the corner there, look. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost him. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, uh, he's back. Thought you'd fallen asleep there, Matt. He's fallen. No, mate, it just like you just stopped moving and then it was like you were a robot for a minute. But yeah, we're all good. We're back. Doing the robot thing again. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, anybody anything else you want to talk about? How's your Scotland training going? Uh, was out today actually. Um, had to come back and get into the bath. I was like, I was at the gym last night, and I probably went a bit hard. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have probably gone as hard as I did last night. And then was out on the bike today. So yeah, I was pretty sore when I came home. So I had to get into the bath, and that's the first time I've been in a bath for years. Ice bath or normal bath? No, oh, ice bath, never. No, <laughs> don't, don't like, don't like cold. Um. But yeah, no, go going pretty well. Um, obviously had to get a new bike. Long story. Um, I had one for sale for like eighteen months, not a dicky bird, and then sold two in like literally two hours. So yeah, yeah. um, so luckily, yeah. luckily, um, Steve Saunders had one, um, in stock and was able to get it over to OHA and Johnny sorted me out with that. So. Thank you, Johnny, for doing that. Um, but yeah, no, it'll go go well. Um, at least I've got a bike, and Matt's still Matt's still waiting on his. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remind me, mate. Well, I sold my bike what like a month ago, month and a half ago, maybe. Thinking mine was just round the corner, and um, here we are, what two weeks, two and a bit weeks away from Scotland, and I've still not got a bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um no i've been i've been really fortunate that i've been i've been able to borrow my dad's little beta 200 which has been an absolute little weapon for the last four weeks of of scottish training um but i'm excited to get hopefully back on a new bike this week and it's it's a really good little bike honestly i think they are possibly one of the most underrated bikes yeah. on the market um it's been awesome it's been absolutely awesome um but i'm excited to get back on a four stroke and um make a bit more noise <laughs> <laughs> you might get a better result on the 200 though maybe 
uh, honestly so that it's it's great my only criticism would be i don't know if i was gonna write so i was nearly riding scotland on it and then i went i went to yorkshire for a day um and i was just like this is just such hard work on this thing yeah. <laughs> just purely because it's just i found like first gear is amazing like it gives you that bit of pop but it was just too slow up a stream so yeah. second was just a bit too flat off the bottom. I feel like if I was riding it and I wanted to make it better for myself, like I would change the gearing on it, I think. Mm. Um, but honestly, anyone that... Mm. It's the perfect sort of beginner or clubman bike, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it is bang on. It really yeah. is. They're so... The, the, the power is so soft in them. You, you, it's, it's hard to get it wrong, really. It's almost like yeah, soft. yeah. But they're yeah, they're like more, yeah. they're like a softer two hundred and fifty rather than a power, more powerful one two five, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's completely. Yeah, I was expecting it to be like a one two five with more power, mm. and I would say, so certainly like in first gear, it feels like a powerful one two five, and then you put it into second, and that's where you tell it hasn't got that same like snap that a one two five has, but it's feels like it's got the range yeah a bit um, more so but yeah i mean this is like what the second one my dad's had and they've um they've, they've all been great um and anyone mm. that rides it goes that's so cool <laughs> so yeah they're good you wouldn't, they're good be, the, you wouldn't be the same without the noise matt no it just wouldn't be the same i know yeah i just can't I just can't imagine riding not having a four stroke beater anymore. It's just, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the same. I don't know. And I genuinely, yeah, it just puts a smile on my face every time I rev the thing. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, for me, it's the only bike that I would personally want to ride for myself. So that's why we've got another one coming. <laughs> that would be something. What about you, Hugo? Are you not, yeah. uh, are you not regretting the decision not to? Not the ride this year is it coming? It's coming to that point where you're sort of going. Go on. I, I wish I'd put an empty in. I am a bit now, to be fair. <laughs> I was looking back at some pictures and stuff from last year, the other day, and I was thinking that oh, I wish I was going now. But I'll be back next year. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard once you've once you sort of start going to it. It's hard to. Yeah, but it, I think it, it gets on your skin a bit. By missing a year, I'll be like real keen for it next year. Then so. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and I'll be able to afford it. So, yeah, that's, that's the only <laughs> the thing. Downside, the cost is the biggest downside to the Scot Scottish six day. Yeah, <laughs> what do you what do you reckon? Yeah. Like ballpark figure? I suppose you guys don't even have a boat to factor into that. So, no, it's worse for you. Yeah, it's got to be all, all things considered, like bits for your bike before well, before and after sort of thing. It's two and a half three grand, isn't it? You reckon? I don't know, yeah, um, accommodation, say, fuel to drive up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuel for if you've got someone driving around, like their fuel as well. Yeah, your entry, yeah, food while you're there. Yeah, I suppose the accommodation you know, um, is it is expensive, isn't it? But I mean, it's one of them, in my opinion. I, I think, I'd I'd pay it every year. Do you know, as long as I'm as long as I'm in a position to pay it, I'll pay it, and no, because it's worth yeah, every in my opinion. It's, um, it's, a, it's the it, best it is. event, I reckon. Oh, definitely one of the best events. Yeah, yeah. There's not, there's not too many like it. As well, there's none like it. Um, that's why everyone yeah. wants to do it. Uh, but yeah, it's it does. It gets under your skin a bit once you start. <laughs> once you start going, it's one of those. Yeah. Ones, I'll, I'll go and I'll do it just to sort of get a finish and say I've done it, and then no, I'll just stick the entry in next year. That'll do. Yeah, we'll do that again. <laughs> And again, and it's the, and again, yeah, it's the one of them, isn't it? It's it's one of maybe five trials I ride a year. <laughs> like, yeah, it, me too. I I, know, I, for I, me, I, it's I, just like I, there's just I, nothing I, else like it, is there? So, yeah. and I would just say, any trials rider, if you consider yourself to be a trials rider or you lo love the sport or whatever, get, get yourself up there and. Um, Either get it done or go for a watch because you won't be disappointed. Yeah, there, no. there's a there's a couple of newbies um, coming over with us. Oops, got my pen. Um, and 
one of them has never even been to spectate. He, he's just, he mm. doesn't have a clue. Um, so that'll be interesting. That'll mm. be interesting for him. I did that last, one of my mates from here, Ewan come with me last year, right? And he'd never been, his brother had done it, but he'd never spectated or anything. And after like the first, after the first day and like after the first two days, he was just like speechless, speechless at the end. Just yeah. like didn't know what to say or do really. <laughs> Took him like the, till to, till till the Wednesday to actually get into it. Yeah, just because it's that much, it's that different in it, and the scale of the Highlands and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that the, the, just this the sheer sort of distance and stuff that you cover. Mm. I mean, it's all very well saying, yeah, you do whatever it is, eighty, ninety, hundred miles, or whatever it is in a day, and people go, oh yeah, that's quite a lot. But when you actually sort of physically mm. go and do it and your average speed or whatever across the moors is like 12 miles an hour, 13 miles an hour, whatever it is, then you sort of start to realise, yeah, this is a this is a bit more of an undertaking than just turning up and paying your entry and doing four yeah. <laughs> camp, which most trials are. Um, but yeah, it is. It's a, I don't know. Yeah, there's something about it. I suppose it's a, it's, a, it's like the Isle of Man TT, isn't it? That's why people keep going back and doing it. It's the same sort of idea. Only slightly safer, probably. Similar, but different, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> slightly safer. Um, right. Um, anything else anybody wants to say? No. No, I can think oh. of. I'm number one, one, one in Scotland, so any drinks, sweets, or anything like that are more than welcome. One, 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 uh, you are? One, 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 you can, yeah. Right, That's a good okay. Number. Sweets, sweets for one, one, one. You can also give lots of sweets to number 60 as well if you want. That's me. Um, <laughs> jelly babies are a particular favourite. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, fruit pastels, whatever it is, yeah, all good. Um, if you see us about. Awesome. We should get some people to do like a vote, see if we should go live in Weatherspoons or something while we're up there. Where do the no next... Do a do a trials talk in person, not on not on Zoom. We can all have a pint in hand and, and uh, that, get people. Well, that, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of the whole sort of vibe that I was kind of going for, like just having a chat in the pub type thing. But um, yeah, well, we can do that. Mm. Do that. Get Jack and Alice and Hugo. Sorry, you're going to miss out. Um, oh, you see, you should have had the entry in, mate. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> don't wrap it in, boys. Don't wrap it in. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Um, right. Um, we'll, do, we'll do another when you come over to a British round, Russ. Yes, we'll. We, de we definitely have to do one. Um, definitely have to get one. So no, do a couple. Yeah, I'm doing the next. Where's the next? Hookwood. Yeah. Um, we can tie in with that. Hopefully, something nice. We local pub somewhere and get the camera set up. And away we go. <laughs> Right. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for your time. Uh, they got to pay for a pint of beer, Daniel. No. Was... No. Oh, jeez. I tell you, <laughs> what. um, my I'm gonna I'm gonna say local. It's not really. It's it's like twenty five minute walk. Um, it's called the Crawfords Burn Inn, and it's really lovely, like real old, like sixteen hundred and whatever it is pub, um, and a hotel sort of attached to it as well. And it was bought over during lockdown by another hotel um called galgorm whatever it is galgorm estate and the galgorm estate is one of the most expensive hotels in northern ireland it's ridiculous so now a pint of guinness is seven pounds 80 yeah. it's absolutely extortion you know uh, we went out for dinner the other night and a dessert was 11 or sorry 10 pound 80 it, the desserts 10 pound 80 it's like i can remember yeah, when you, you, i remember right. getting a main course for that you'll be right down in hookwoods and russ it's that's a that type of price is that the same there. sort of prices is it yeah <laughs> bring your wallet yeah bring that's it you'll be you'll be booked into the hotel down the road with the spa anyway yeah probably have to but you know and it, i'm getting into this bath yeah. thing after you know that's it. Yeah, that. yeah, that's yeah. it special things that you're bathing in and yeah all the magnesium salt and everything yeah that's it yeah yeah <laughs> oils, you know, the lot yeah udder mint 
I'm a swear. I swear by Udder Mint. It's brilliant. Udder Mint. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is exactly it is exactly what it says. It's mint. Oh yeah, no, I know what it is. It's, yeah. it's mint for others. <laughs> um, but it's really good. It's really good for like um, forearm pump Lodges. stuff and yeah. As I say, add as an arm pump in it. Yeah, yeah. Strange combination. <laughs> yeah. On that note. <laughs> nice yeah. one. On, on that on that bombshell. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Um, that's probably enough of us rambling on, talking about nothing. Um, so as usual, oh, we're up to about we're up to about nine hundred and forty something subscribers now. So we're nearly at the magic one thousand, whatever that means. I don't know, it means something in YouTube world. Um, so if you like this, subscribe, do all that. Um, click that notification bell, hit a like, send us a comment. Um, try and keep it clean. That would be really good. Um, yes. and we'll see you in the next one.